Oh, look what Eli picked. Good job, bud. You want me to hold those? Um, you hold that and I hold these. Okay. There we go. What's up, everyone? Doing chores this morning. So we have, uh, I turned the waterer because it was at a slight angle and the water, the nippler was actually holding water. So the pigs, every time they'd come over to it, there'd be a swarm of bees around it and it wouldn't work. They wouldn't go and drink water. So I was worried about the water. So I turned it so now it runs out and we're just filling it up. The uh, pigs are growing fast. We only have them for about, I think 12 days now. Time you see this video, they'll be just about going in actually. So this might be the last time you guys see the pigs before as well, before we put them in the trailer. Hey, quit fighting. Fight nice or don't fight at all. But they, uh, they've been eating a ton of grass. The neighbors we were pretty happy. The neighbors uh, cut their lawn and it was a truck bed full of grass and they had brought it over and they were eating it by the mouthful. So that was pretty cool watching them. And they're running around jumping and it was funny. But yeah, so far, I like having the pigs. I definitely uh, don't mind doing pigs. We do them every year now. Man, I always had stories about the city life and the crazy nights. I figure I should probably give it a try. Baby, check it out, see what it's all about. But the traffic was fast and the money was slow. The people I met you never get to know. I kind of miss this place I used to live back home. Cause up here it's pregnant. Paycheck, rat race, what's next? I'm tired of feeling like a small fish in a big pond. I think I go back where I came. I guess the slow life is just right Like a bonfire on a cold night Hell, and you can keep your nine to five Have to win the simple life So we've got moving the baby chicks down to uh, You gotta stop calling them that, huh? We've got moving the meat birds down to a science with the lawnmower. So much so that I can do it, and that way if we're gone for a day here and there, um, other people can come over and do it. And that ends up being pretty slick. I, we do wish that the kids could do it too, but not there yet. <laughs> um, we have to rebuild those in the future for that. But I'm going to get some feed, if you can see me, for the babies. The meat birds. Trying to save your time, in case you're thinking about breaking out the bucket list. Girl, you can skip this funny business. Cause up there it's complicated and overrated. Down here everything is understated. That's alright by me. I got everything that I need. But there is pregnant, paycheck. So the chickens have been doing very well. This round's been awesome. They've been eating way less feed actually, but they're eating more grass. And we also noticed that um, the waterers, they use them. Where the, we couldn't get the roosters to use them. Only a couple of them would. So we had to put other waterers in there. And they've been working great with these. So this round has just been so much nicer. What do you think? Absolutely. This is just a breath of fresh air. If anybody's, you know, decided not to do chickens after having done roosters, just try again with that. Or even a straight run. Or even a straight run, yeah. It's just, 
They're so friendly in comparison. Yep. They get out and Eli's the three-year-old running around catching them. Like it's not a problem. Yeah. It's a lot better. Lots I'm very happy with doing them. And it's like it was last spring when we did them, so. Mm -hmm. We did lose a few more so far this year than we did last spring. Last spring, yeah. Um, but not compared to the not earlier this year. Not compared to our roosters. Yeah. Yeah, and talking to other people who are butchering around the same time, they've had very similar loss. So not really sure if that's just kind of a fluke thing or something we could have avoided. But To make it a little easier, we took the lawnmower and I put a ratchet strap right on the front, right here. So this way, all we can, all we have to do is hook this up. So I tied a knot in it right here. So when you're pulling on here, it lifts up the front end just enough where it doesn't drag. But also, now steering it, it doesn't work as good because it slides. So what we do is we unhook it and if we have to turn, we use this outer knot and then you can pull it each way. And it works, it works very well. Um, if I can't come out here, Sarah definitely can come out here and move it with the kids. Uh, we used to pound in the back. I really don't have to. I noticed this time we really don't have to. They move. As soon as you start moving it, they know to stay in the middle. And they get away from the sides even. So we don't even have to really pound from the back. Um, the other thing is I'll grab the jack and I'll hold one of the corners because a little bit of pulling from left to right will steer this like really nice so we can keep them in a straight line. I'm really happy. <laughs> it works out really good. <laughs> well, thanks for watching while we are doing our morning chores. Hope you enjoyed this little video and give it a thumbs up if you did. I'm glad you got to see us again. Bye. Can't forget about our little buddy, the hunter. <laughs>